Welcome back to Tuckway Pines. <laughs> Today I am meandering back to the raspberry slash rhubarb slash currant patch that we have. It's kind of set back on the property here, but uh, yeah, I need to harvest some rhubarb. I am looking into a couple new ways to preserve it. And uh, because I have some strawberries at home or in the house and uh, yeah, I want to kind of have some fun with them and see what I can do, see what I can make. And uh, I think I'll do a couple different videos on what I do with the rhubarb, but I just wanted to show you our little patch that we have going and kind of explain a little something that I thought was kind of interesting when it comes to harvesting rhubarb. So I'll turn the camera around and show you what's what. So here is our rhubarb patch. It's kind of a... It's a it's pretty wooded back here, so things are a little wild, to say the least. So there's some stuff growing along with the rhubarb over here. But all of this rhubarb came from right by the house. I had to dig out everything and bring it back here. And it's actually doing really well. You can see it is thriving, even with everything out everything else growing back here. So um, but yeah, I wanted to explain, and like I said, I had to dig everything out in order for it to be transplanted, because this, it's got, um, kind of almost like a bulbed root system, and you want to make sure you get all that out when you're digging it out if you want to remove rhubarb, because it can be pretty invasive, as you can see. Um, you want to make sure you remove that whole root system, that whole root bulb. If you leave a little portion, it could sprout up again in a year or two and you get rhubarb again. But, um, also, and if you want to try and eradicate it by, uh, pulling it out, I wouldn't recommend pulling it or breaking the stem. You want to cut it. Cutting it will, um, kill essentially kill rhubarb it just sends a message that it won't continue to grow but if you were to break the stalk it sends a message down to the root system that says send up more shoots because it's been split essentially in a nutshell so if you are trying to get rid of rhubarb either dig it out completely or uh, cut it cut it and try not to disturb the root system but if you are happy with your uh flourishing rhubarb patch like I am at the moment, <laughs> then uh, just snap those babies and uh, harvest them up. All right, you guys, I got a full basket of rhubarb. So like I said, I'm going to try and make a couple new things with them. I'm going to see how they turn out before I show you guys. Um, and if everything works out great, then I have plenty more rhubarb I can come out and pull. And um, I'll show you all the goodies that I come up with. So, all right, you guys, I hope everyone's garden's doing just as good as mine. It's thriving. It's actually going crazy. I am um, thinking of doing a little tour here soon. So. Stay tuned for that. All right, you guys. Have a great day. Bye.